Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin and we get it from two sources primarily. First from our diet and examples of foods that are high in vitamin D include fatty fish and fish liver oil. Other foods that contain vitamin D are enriched or fortified foods such as breakfast cereals and our fortified milk. The second route of obtaining vitamin D is through the sun exposure to sunlight. Upon exposure to our sunlight our skin can synthesize vitamin D. We're working in conjunction with um, Monaghan mushrooms who produce a certain type of mushrooms that have enhanced vitamin D. So they can enhance the production of vitamin D in mushrooms by exposing the mushrooms to UV light. So the work that we've done is to perform a study to investigate if consumption of these vitamin D enhanced mushrooms increase vitamin status in healthy adults. So we recruited subjects and we asked them to consume a certain amount of these enhanced vitamin D mushrooms per day over a series of four weeks and we assessed their vitamin status pre the intervention and post the intervention. And consumption of the mushrooms increased one of the vitamins associated with vitamin D which is vitamin D2 but it did not have an impact on the overall vitamin D status. We employ a range of different techniques and primarily we use techniques called nutrigenomics techniques. So these are techniques looking at the interaction between diet and our levels of genes, gene expression in our cells, the levels of proteins that are circulating in our cells and the levels of metabolites that are circulating. So if we're focusing on genes, we will use a technique called transcriptomics. If we're focusing on looking at protein levels that are circulating in our bodies, we will use a technique called proteomics. And then if we're focusing on the metabolite levels that are circulating in our bodies, we use a technique called metabolomics. Vitamin D is essential for our functioning in our body. One of the primary roles of vitamin D is to enhance calcium absorption. If we have a deficiency in vitamin D, we will have a deficiency in absorbing calcium from our diet and as a result we will have problems with our bones and with our teeth. The amount of vitamin D that we obtain from our diet is actually very low, so we do need to synthesise the vitamin D and we do need to have exposure to sunlight to do that. In the winter months in Ireland, the angle at which the sun shines is not sufficient to allow us to synthesise vitamin D, so there is no skin synthesis of vitamin D during the winter months in Ireland. So it is absolutely essential that we do increase our dietary sources of vitamin D during the winter months. In recent years there's been a large amount of evidence that has appeared in the literature associating vitamin D with diseases beyond the classical bone health disease. A number of these studies are association studies associating low levels of vitamin D with a higher risk of the various diseases. However, we're still lacking intervention studies within vitamin D and these other diseases outside of bone health to really demonstrate the relationship between vitamin D and disease. With respect to the vitamin D enhanced mushrooms, we would like to further examine the potential of these mushrooms as a dietary source of vitamin D and their potential to enhance vitamin D status. We would like to um, further work with our industry partners to establish if in certain disease conditions these could be a route of increasing vitamin D levels.